Hello, everybody. It's me again, Funk Doc, and we have a three player game on France. It's me, Mastaba, and Kem Nasa. Uh, Kem Nasa is a, a bit of a newer player, I believe. Whereas uh, the other two here, you've definitely seen on this channel a good bit. I'd bid six for the four plant. I'm not really even a fan of paying seven for it in a three player game because the turn order advantage is a lot less in three player compared to larger games. In particular, the four tends to put you in an awkward spot on turn two in three player because the 10 is not on the market yet. So you either, you know, buy a plant and drop the 10 for the player below you or you pass and just have the market move more slowly and give the player who starts with the eight a bigger advantage. I'll let Mastaba pay four for this. I'm fine getting getting the eight on this map. In fact, I think I just played a game with this exact map config last night. Ooh, Mastaba gave me the three for three. Okay, that might be a little too generous there. This, it will see, this map is a little bit harder to build last on compared to, to others here. As always on France, 11 is guaranteed to be the first plant drawn, and 13 is removed from the deck, so there's one fewer plant in the game for France compared to other maps. Mastaba? I don't know about that. I'm going to do this because... Here's the problem. With Masaba storing all that coal, that's really going to limit his builds on this map. Because he can only afford a, a connection costing nine or less for his second city. And you really want you need to build two cities when you're starting with the eight to get full value from the plant. So by building Orleans, what I do is cut off like Paris plus another city. Just building in Paris alone is really bad. You just corner yourself way too much and get too little in terms of you know the number of cities. But Mastaba cannot, like, build... He can't build tours and jump into Paris by me doing it this way. If I were to build tours, Mastaba would be able to go Orleans in Paris. Mastaba had... I think his build clearly now is Lyon and Saint-Étienne. That's the best he can afford. In my position, I might build Dijon on turn two, maybe. Assuming that's what he does. And I think he... Really? I... That shocks me. That absolutely shocks me. Okay, now I have to build Dijon on, Dijon on turn two for sure. I'm not sure what... Mastaba's endgame is with this build? I mean, if I build Dijon, like, I guess he could jump into tours, actually, and then do okay. I guess, I guess that works. Or if I build tours, he can go into Dijon. Probably. Mm. I'm just, I, I really need to think about how to approach my building route here. And this is why I want the three, because now I can take the ten. Alright. Okay. Okay. I do think I build tours now, though. I think it's what I do. <laughs> 
What I could have done was build tours in Paris. Maybe? Well, no, I couldn't have. I was going to say if I bought, like, two coal and two oil, I maybe could have built tours in Paris, but I don't think I'd be able to afford that. Because I think, like, the three, the two oil would cost the same as my uh, uh, third and fourth coal. So... I'm not sure this is right. Dijon might be better. The thing is that Mastaba having already built two cities, I'm not quite sure he has it in him to go to Dijon. This is this might be my favorite uh, French map config for uh, two and three player. So expensive. Such expensive builds. I love it. I love it. Fifteen. If I do not get the eleven, that is a plant I will pass on for sure. I think 17 is about my limit for this plant. As good as the market's looking here right now. And 17 is what I get it for. Okay. Kim Nasa obviously buys 15. Masaba? Does Masaba take the 20 this early in the game? Is the question. It's going to make. Building's going to be a problem for him. He has to think here. Yep, he does take the 20. Okay. So we've had the three highest numbered plants in the entire game going under the deck in the first three turns. That does a lot to reduce the chances of any, like, really wacky low plants going under, like, you know, 21 or, you know, 23 or whatever. I think I'll just buy the uranium for now and see what happens. Okay, Mastaba does get Dijon. All right. He does get Dijon. Well, the nice thing is that does force Kenasa to take Leon now, right? My hope is he takes Leon and I get Limoges. That's what I'm hoping for here. God damn it, he doesn't fall for it. It makes sense because he can build before Mastaba in the next turn. This sucks. Okay, I am in a bad way now. I think I need, I mean, I absolutely have to make sure I get Bordeaux. Mastaba being able to build the four cities already, not a good sign. So I really thought, like, Orleans Tours, I really thought these builds would be good. But I didn't realize what you can get from Paris. Like, just Paris alone. Well, there's 25 coming in at least, so hopefully we can put a damper on the 20 now. Um... All right. Unfortunately, I can't build to five, sadly. Okay. Twenty-six. 
I'm just storing the cheap oil for now. It, it, it'll come in handy at some point. Anyway, now I have to get Bordeaux. My builds ended up uh, kind of bad here. Although arguably, mm, arguably better than Chemnasa's, maybe. If I can get Toulouse. If I can get Toulouse before, before Chem, I'll be okay. Not great, but okay. I'm at least a lot closer to Paris than Chem is, so that helps. And now, because now Kem has to take Le Leon for sure. And at least, and Masa was getting stuck with stupidly expensive coal, so that's a positive. Alright, so note to self, uh, take Dijon as your second city in my build. I'm not sure my build was right, to be honest. I'm at least taking advantage of the uranium efficiency right now, so that helps. There's 40, another one of the highest plants. Well, he knows that we're going to bid on this. Mastaba does. I could pay a decent amount of money here for this plant and still build Toulouse this turn, get to five cities. Masaba's going to drop out of the auction now, I predict. Yep, right on cue. Probably I shouldn't have bought the extra coal, but nah, it pays off, because I in fact get this plant. 18, that's kind of a tricky plant for Mastaba, he can't really use it right now. Because I don't think he wants to stall at 6 cities with the 20. And that's like 18 would only power one extra city for him that way, and he'd have to build like, he can't, he doesn't have a second plant that he can run with the 18 here, so I think he passes in this situation. I can buy one extra coal here, I believe. I think I have exactly enough to buy one extra coal and build. Yep, last of a passes is predicted. Ken does not buy 18. I think that's a huge mistake. 15 and 18 is, again, that's one of my favorite step one stall combos. So my plan now is hopefully I can get some coal in the next turn and try to break the stall. That's what I'm thinking. I'm at least set up to get way more step one cities than anyone else this way. So I guess that's a positive for me. What's nice is with Chem passing, we're going to stare at these same plants again in the next turn. Because uh, ain't nobody breaking the stall this turn. Hey, Chem's not buying extra coal. That's good news for me and also Mastaba.
When you're if you're going to expand from Bordeaux, I pretty much always take this 14 connection to Toulouse. It's two dollars more expensive than going around this way, but this has so many more connections. This is such this is so much more important of a city to block for others. Ooh, he's going to break stall. Is he? Interesting play by Mastaba here. And it still doesn't bring a good plan on the market. If I were him, I'd probably just say screw it and build the 7th now. Presumably Grenoble? Oh no, Mulhouse, he takes the cheaper one. Okay. That's fine. Well, 31 under the market, okay. Well, most of us sure is t doing a lot to move the market. His problem, though, is he doesn't have the plants. Like, he has to buy one of these green plants here, which is not the greatest thing with the 20. Presumably, he'll buy 27. Yep. I ain't buying anything right now, I can tell you that. And more green plants that I am not going to use. Yep. I need, I need to burn this dang oil that's been sitting on the three for so long. Well, never mind, okay. This has been this game's been interesting with people staying away from the green plants for so long. Chem buying 23 is a little annoying for me, but no big deal. Do I just build one city here is the question. I can do it this way. Because the nice thing about this way is, I can stay below Mastaba. If I just build a 7, so I might do that. Store the oil for 26 auction. Well, I'm obviously building into Paris now. Question is, do I try to stay below Chem? Okay. 
Got to think about this. I'm already in position to burn the oil. I screw it. I think I'd do it this way. I'm even going above Mastaba, which is a big risk, but I do feel like I'm behind on money and need to catch up. I don't know. Hey, Mastaba even builds above me, which is good news. Because he's he seems desperate to make money as well. Okay. Good move for me then. I stay in the middle of the turn order and I finally get to burn extra resources and actually make decent money. Okay. 26 stays on. Alright. And with oil sitting at a dollar, this is going to be amazing. Bump it up to 40 now. The nice thing is, though, me staying below Mastaba means I'm not so desperate for this plant. It's still worth probably in the, like, 55, 60 range. Or is it? Or is it, Steve? What's weird is right now, the green plants don't really do much for me because oil is so cheap that like three is actually a pretty efficient plant for me. Making him think. This thing is, Ken Nasa might replace his uh, oil plant here. Oh god, and Masaba gets this at cost. If he gets this at cost, oh god, please bid this, Ken. Oh god, and he actually gets 30 out of it. Okay, I feel like I'm screwed now. I probably, I'm like, I just was afraid of Masaba getting that plant too cheap. That's, that's where I was at with that. I just, Mastaba's money lead was worrying me throughout this whole game. Uh, fuck my life. My play this turn is obviously going to be not run the 25 at all. So I just lost out big time in that auction. Like, had I had I been the one to get 29 at cost instead, I'd be feeling much better about my chances right now. As is, I think, I feel like Mastaba's won this game already. 29 needed to be bid. It needed to be bid. Oil this cheap has to be bid. Probably should have stopped after 55 or so. I just, I tend to get in these situations where I really, really need to drive up. I feel like if the leader is bidding for an important plant, I have to drive up the price like crazy for them. At any rate, I'm, I'm out of this game now, I feel. It's weird that Kem's building but didn't buy trash. So he's only going to power six cities this turn. I do feel like I'm gonna, I should finish ahead of Kem in the long run here. But I feel like Mastaba's already won this game. 29 at cost is just too good. And I can't really build to block him anywhere good. 
Because, like, Leon, Leon and Saint Etienne, like, these would be, like, the main places where we can block Masaba, and that just wasn't happening. I was hoping that Mastaba being reliant on the 20 for so long would get him killed, but... At least Mastaba is like... At least Mastaba can't build more. There's something to be said for that. It's funny to see 18 and 22 just sit there, go untouched, but that's what's happening in this game. Well, at least 38's guaranteed to stay on now, so that's good news for me. Okay, uh, I need to think about how to do this. It's like, I have to store the coal, I just have to, if I'm going to do this. Actually, come to think of it, 11 barely makes me any money, so I could have just not bought that this turn, maybe. All it does is hurt Kem a little bit, because Kem will keep the 23 for another turn after this. 15 is uh, going to be his next plan on the chopping block, obviously. I'll just do that. Like, I'm just so far behind now. <laughs> Ugh. Again, I just... I guess I should have seen what would happen if 29 had dropped before I bid more on 26 there. At least Mastava keeps building above me, so that's good. I just want to get these cities out of the way because they're the remaining step one cities for me. So I got eight step one cities total, which is nice.
Yeah, I only make a two dollar profit from running the eleven. Cause I only have one city with it. One city to power with it. Versus my other stuff. Oh, Mastaba is risking a coal buyout. That really surprises me. Something to make note of. No 36 in this game, so we only have two 7 plants. 38 is going to be uh, the obvious hot item. Especially with that drop coming first. There's only one other plant left below 6 capacity, so... I think my play here is, if I don't get another 7, I pass this turn, is my suspicion. Because I think what Masa was aiming for, he could, he's probably willing to pay a lot for this plant and he'll replace the 20 with it. That's what I see happening. Because that'll set him up next turn to easily go for 17 with an outside shot at 18 if he can get the 46. I'm going to keep bidding though, baby. Keep bidding. Now we'll let it go to him this time. And he's probably going to replace the 20 with all that coal sitting there on the market. Yep, that is exactly his play. Yeah, I'll actually pass now. I feel like that's my best play at this point. I need to build up more money and then just try to hope for 46 and end the game if there's a next turn. If there's a next turn. I definitely build Nantes, I feel. Or do I? I'm going to see what Kem does here, because I need to stay bottom in the turn order now. Absolutely have to, because I need, I need the 46. Only way I can hit the end game capacity here. And there is a, a good chance of it coming. Four plants left in the deck. That's one of them. And if I can stay at the bottom, it, I should be almost guaranteed to get it. Well, I guess 75% chance. There's Kem. 
I have to stay bottom, so yeah, I can't build here. Mastiff might just win now. He's gonna win now, isn't he? Oh no, he doesn't end. Okay. Ah, uh, there it is right away. I was hoping to get it as a drop last, but now it's actually going to go for a good amount of money. Okay. We can do this. We can do the math. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. That would be my resource cost. I build this city for sure. And then, mm, mm, mm. So this is one, two, three, four. Five, six. Wow, I can barely even afford it. I mean, yeah, Masuba's just going to win, but I hate seeing 35 there because now he's actually going to probably put 46 up for bed. He's actually going to do it. Fuck, this sucks. Yeah. That takes me out of the running for 17, so... Good win, Mastaba. Overpaid for the damn 26 because of oil staying cheap. And oil did stay cheap the, the whole game after that, too, to be fair. But alas, but alas, that was not enough. There was still too much to pay. I was just... I mean, I kind of got a better value in 46 than Mastava did with 38, but that doesn't even come close to mattering. I still get second place, but yeah. Good game, Mastaba. Well, Ken Nasa clearly should build Paris now. That's his. Uh, that's their uh, cheapest cities left. And Maspa builds down here to end the game. Easy. G G. Yeah, this one, uh... Okay, Maspa didn't have that much left at 17. Alright. Not quite as rich as I thought, but I'm still a good bit richer than me.
Yeah, this one is that, like my my starting build got beaten by Mastaba, so I'm not really sure where to build. Like I I don't know. Where, I would need to play this map more and figure out where's where's the one build on here because I used to think it was this Tours of Orleans, one of these, one of these. I really thought it was the right build. Like Orleans, that Orleans would be the right build. I guess probably it was, just I needed to build Dijon in turn two. I guess that's what I had to do. But even still, just you end up with more expensive cities that way compared to the Paris. Like, like is triple Paris really what you want to do? No way, no way. Not in three player. Uh, we need to work more on this. I definitely my second city was definitely wrong. It definitely should have been Dijon. I underestimated Mastaba's ability to get there. But even still, I don't know if that's really the best start build. Anyway, uh, congrats to Mastaba again, and see you later.